Okay, everyone, welcome back to SC Beautiful Beads. It's uh, Wednesday morning, the third package bee day. Um, I know a lot of you guys are buying package bees, and I want to make sure I put together a video for you. Um, I, this is not going to be a high quality production. I don't have a lot of time. We're doing a lot of work today, so we're going to uh, walk you through the process as fast as humanly possible. So I have my hive set up. I have uh, bees my package bee here I have my hive set up I have pin frame inside the hive all right and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process relatively quick I'm gonna plug the front entrance of this hive up I'll be right back But what I'm going to do is just take this foamy, it could be anything, pizza, yeah. uh, um, paper towel, whatever, towel, cloth, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. I'm just plug plugging this entrance in, because when I shake them in, I want the majority of them to stay in and not crawl out the front of the hive. I'm going to take and pry this box off, this lid off. When you pry the lid off, you're going to see there's a tab right here, and this is where the queen is at, a can of sugar water. And of course the bees. And there's a couple different ways you can do the last part of this, but um, this is what I'm going to suggest you do. Um, I'm going to take this sugar can and take my hive tool, and I'm going to pry the sugar can up. Um, well actually, I do. And all I'm trying to do is get a hold of this sugar can in any, any kind. Of, I guess I can. Do grab the sugar can and before I pull this sugar can or this queen out I'm gonna take and bump it and that knocks all the bees to the bottom. Take a look at McQueen. Make sure she's okay. She's alive <clears throat> and wandering around. I'm going to bend this tab. And you can't leave these queens out too long. Do not put your queen in the sun. She will die. They don't do well. Don't leave your package bees in the sun either. Hopefully you guys install them. I'm going to put a little bend in the hook, something similar to this. And then I'm going to take and uh, probably right in the center of the colony, high. I'm going to take a couple of frames out here so i got a little bit of room. And I'm going to take it right in the center of the colony. I'm going to take a frame and I'm going to hang this queen on it just like that. And it's important that you secure in here. You don't want this being halfway because you don't want her to fall off. So you want this to be a very secure connection. She doesn't fall off. She's on there. She got to be, you know, bulletproof on there. She needs to be on there good. And I'm gonna put her right back in that cage. Now I put a little space right between her and the frame right next to it. And what I'm gonna do, and I, some people uh, shake out that top hole. You can take this hole, and uh, I'll show you this way, I guess. I, but I, I like it. I think I'm gonna show you the different method. I like. I like the side entry method. You can shake them out of this top hole. Sometimes it's hard to get them all out. You got to shake it back and forth. So what I've started doing, is, or suggesting, is is taking, cutting this screen, right, all the way around the bottom. Okay. At this point, the bees are pretty much free. They just don't know it yet. All right. And I'm going to take, cut this, and get this screen ready to pull up, okay? The bees going to start flying a little bit, that's okay. And at the last second here, I am going to hold the cover over this top, and if you see, these bees want to go back with that queen. 
they can smell the honeycomb and the wax and all of that stuff down inside that frame. So they really do want to be with her. What I'm going to do is kind of encourage them to head in that direction. I'm going to pull my screen back and just tilt them face down. And let them start walking back down in there. Mm. Okay? I'm going to take this and bump it. And, uh, all the bees just fell right on top of those frames of the hive. Okay? Some of the bees are flying around. That's okay. That's normal. I'll show you how they get back in the hive. Excuse me. I, I do apologize for me. All right. So I'm going to make sure that I know my queen is right here. I'm going to push this up against here. I'm going to put this back on here. Give me a little bit of space. And this particular one a little bit of a crowding issue against the queen cage, which is what I don't want. I want them to ball around her. So in this case, I'm going to leave one frame out, and I'm going to take here, maybe this side. All right, and I'm going to put this sugar can back up here. But I am going to leave a little room there, and if you'll notice, this bee's already landed right there. They can smell that that's their hive that they want to be a part of. We'll let, them, we'll let them go back in and hive. If you look inside this box, this box is essentially clean. There's nothing left in here. And uh, we got a queen in there. I did not uncork her yet. I will come back tomorrow and pull the cork out on the candy side of the queen cage not on the side that lets her out immediately and that'll make them wait another 24 to 48 hours in order to do it now i'm just gonna leave a little crack right here for them to come and go and i'm only gonna do that for just a short period of time there's a whole lot of bees flying around in the air and i want to give them the ability to go home some of them are coming out and they're starting to fan that smell as to where that you know they need to be and if you notice more and more start to come in they see the other bees laying in there Another bee just landed. Another bee landed on Sugar Bear. Another bee just landed. Another bee landed. And as they do that, more and more, we'll figure out that's where they need to be. And that, that's where their queen is that they, they want to be with. So that's one that just went in. Another one landed. Another one landed. So we're going to leave that alone for just a bit. Another one landed, and then we'll come and take this front off as well in a little bit. But that's how you introduce the queen, uh, you introduce your package into your hive. I'll come back after I release the queen, or whenever I fool with the queen, I'll put this other frame in here. I don't always do that. The reason why that's being done is because there's some fat comb on one side. If you don't have any foundation that's drawn by the bees, you won't have that problem. You should probably just go ahead and put all 10 frames in. But you do not want to block the bees from being able to get to that screen side of your queen cage if you do they can't feed her it's important that that screen side of the queen cage that you saw is not obstructed if you do like i say the bee the, the bees won't be able to feed her so we'll come back and check on her a little bit y'all have a great morning happy beekeeping